everybody welcome to my second tutorial on the beginner basics of knitting and in my last video I showed you how to cast on in two ways and here I've got 10 stitches that I've cast on the more advanced way um, which creates a slightly tighter beginning um, but I'm going to show you how to do the simple knit stitch in knitting so the knit stitch where it says in patterns knit one we are going to, well, first of all, it's very similar to the cast on method that I showed you in my previous video. And what we do is we again place our needle to the left side. So I'm holding my stitches in my left hand. Uh, I'm right handed. We're going to place our needle to the left side of our stitch again. And just like when we cast on, we're going to poke our needle, our right needle through that loop. So it goes going right through that loop. And you want to make sure that you your stitches aren't too tight, so you can you've got a little bit of room to put in your other needle. So don't don't just tighten that right up against that needle, otherwise you won't have enough room to get your other needle in. So leave a little bit of space, put it to the left side of the, the loop, and poke your needle through and to the other side. So it sits to the right of the yarn when it goes through, but it's the needle is underneath. Okay, and I'm just resting that on this finger. And then we're going to take the yarn that we're working with and what we do is we just again like casting on we wrap it around the back of our needle and bring the yarn down through the center of our knitting needle so it sits across the top of that loop cutting it in half and i'm going to hold this yarn a little bit tight just to make sure that i catch it because it's this yarn that we're catching underneath you can see it here that if i that you can see that's the yarn we're going to be catching so I'm going to bring my needle down bring my needle down I'm going to catch that yarn hold this stitch out the way slightly so you don't catch it with your needle because sometimes you can end up bringing that through as well and you'll notice you've done that if you can't pull up the loop afterwards it's a bit tight so I just keep this stitch out the way hold this a little bit tight bring the needle down bring it cleanly through that loop again and catch this bit of yarn and I'm just going to bring my needle up so it gets onto that second needle and I'm just going to hold that into place okay and that's the that's the loop we want to keep and then all we do is we simply flip flick off this other loop we just want to get rid of that bye bye like so and that's it and then we do the same with all the other stitches so we go to the left hand side of our next stitch down and go cleanly through that loop out the other side and then we get our yarn which is over here again wrap it around and bring it down through the center of your needles again hold this loop out of the way hold this a little bit tight and bring this back needle down so it comes through cleanly and catches that, that loop there. Okay, And then what you want to do is you want to push your needle up so it stays on there like so. And as you do that, I'm just going to bring that up. We're going to flip this loop that we worked through. We're going to flip that off the end of our needle. Bye bye. OK, so we don't need that anymore. And there we go. So we repeat that all the way from remaining stitches. We go to the left hand side and go through the loop get your yarn wrap it around the back needle and down for the mid middle make sure it goes through the middle and sits right on top hold it a bit tight hold this loop out the way and bring your stitch down cleanly through that loop catch that bit of yarn and so you don't lose it push your needle up so you don't lose it and make sure you've got that loop nice and safe and then this loop here we worked through we're just going to flip that off so bye 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 okay so just repeat that all the way across go round bring the yarn through push the needle down grab that loop push up so it stays on your needle flip it off so you go through the loop round down for the middle keep this loop out of the way so your needle can come cleanly through otherwise you can catch it if you're not too careful and as soon as you're through push your needle up 
to catch that loop and then off through round push up and off now also pushing up will make sure it's not too tight because sometimes beginner knitters can find it very very tight and it does help to push up that needle makes such a difference so go through the loop round bring the needle down and through catch that loop there push up and off go through the loop the yarn round, bring the needle down through the loop and push up and off. Go through the loop, round, come through, grab that loop, then push up straight away and then push that other stitch off. I'm just pushing that one off. And it's easier to push off if you push this needle up and off. It's so much easier because you're bringing the yarn to together the project together so it doesn't make it as tight and the last one we go through wrap the yarn round come through push up and then we just pop in that off like so and that is how you work the knit stitch like so and if you want to create the uh, traditional effect of knitting where you've got that nice v shape all the way down um, you need to alternate between knit stitching and purl stitching so I'm going to show you how to do that the purl stitch next in my next tutorial see you soon for some more knitting fun thanks for watching guys bye